Good evening and welcome back once again. So we're at home in the league against Leganes and the lineup is looking a little bit different than you saw in the last match. Schubert has dropped out and Post is in goal. We've got the back four of Baca, Omaragic, Cotonou and Emerson. So pretty much full strength there. Herrera, Cousins and Vieira in midfield. Again, that's normally our first choice lineup. Ruben Castro up front, Carlos Perez on the right, and we're playing Arcas on the left. Just because Mudrick was on a downward orange, I thought about putting possibly Harrington there, but we're going to give Arcas a go, with potentially Harrington coming off the bench later on. And we're back at home at La Rosaleda Stadium. After two, well, brilliant performances lately, back-to-back 5-0 wins. Things are looking good. Looking forward to the January transfer window though. Not sure what we're going to do in the January transfer window. Um, I haven't thought about it massively as in planned it out. Kind of waiting to see what youngsters are going to drop in because the youngsters, that some of the regens will drop in in January. And I don't want to just have a regen squad by, squad by any means. But there might be the odd one or two that we look to get. Here's Perez. Emerson's out wide. Fired in, but wasn't the best of balls. Nice tackle from Cousins. Tries to chip the keeper. <laughs> Wrong decision there. Don't know why I try to chip the keeper. Nice play from Carlos Perez, and he could be in again here. And he is. Oh, somehow that. And that's offside. So we've had slow starts in the last two games, which you wouldn't think going by 0 nil but in both games, well, in the first game of the 5 0 nils, the 5 0 nils, the 5 nils, uh, it was 0 nil at half time. In the last game, it was 0 nil up until the 44th minute. Um, and then the floodgates opened. Ooh. Well, Orcas isn't going to miss that one. An absolute mix-up in defence. Emerson put in a decent ball, but got to do better than that. Yeah, keeper pushed it out right into the middle of the uh, sort of six-yard box, and there was about five defenders there. And I think they just get got on each other's way, really. Yeah, they did. Well, not how we saw getting the opening goal, but I'll take it. I've mentioned before, but um, I'm really looking forward to the Resident Evil 4 remake coming out. It'll already be out by the time you see this video. Here's Ruben Castro. Oh. Really good run, got a score though. And there's Alcas again, what is going on? Alcas has had the, the two easiest goals he's ever going to get. Must be his birthday or something. He definitely should put the lobby on after this match. Defending again all over the place. Castro did well. Finish wasn't the best, good save. Defence could have easily cleared up. No reason why there should be a goal after this save had plenty of time could have booted it out could have played it out to one of his players didn't do anything well gotta say strong Arcas on the left has certainly paid off oh that's not a free kick 
I hate free kicks at this range as well because they're almost guaranteed to go in. I'm going to put someone on the post here. They won't even let me put them on the post. I hit the wall anyway, luckily. It often, well, 90% of the time misses that wall. And when it does miss the wall, it pretty much always goes in. Nice play there. Haven't seen as much from Emerson lately. Um, I don't mean in this match. I mean, in general, he's... You know, he does bomb down the right. But he's not really getting any assists or anything like that. Certainly a very good player. And an improvement. Him and Bacar are definitely an improvement on what we had in the wing-back positions. Um, and that's not sort of to disparage those players. They're still in the squad. And they play still a lot of games. It's a lot of rotation. And they do a very good job as well. Here is Bacar. Good block. But they're definitely a step up in quality compared to the, the youngsters. And the youngsters will get there in time. They'll keep improving. Good ball. Oh, he's got a score there. Perez, that's a poor header. It's a perfectly weighted corner. And that's one thing we've found since we're signed Cousins. The, the quality of corners that we're able to put in is certainly being a big step up we've, we've created maybe haven't scored as many as we should but we've created a lot more chances um, previously I was very rarely even finding a head or it was just hitting a defender or the goalkeeper was catching it no matter what I did now Cousins oh Cass on a hat trick now he is back at Nice ball. Vieira, just wide. And that's what I mean about the wing max. The, they're a bit more pacey, a bit more strong, a bit more dynamic. And also, their stats for passing are, are better as well. Makes such a difference. Oh, and here's Arcas. Oh, just got it through to Vieira. Back at. And it's in. It's Castro with the header. I'm not sure. I think that should really be an own goal. Again, just what I was saying. Brilliant ball from Back at. <sighs> Castro with the header. It comes off. It's either the back or the shoulder of the keeper as it comes off the crossbar. And you've got to say, technically, I think that should have been an own goal. But I'm more than happy to take the goal for Castro. I'd prefer that. And I'm sure the goalkeeper would as well. Good tackle. How is that? It didn't even touch the player. Oh, my God. The... But then when I get absolutely scythed down, I don't get anything. And it just, it just annoys me. I wish there was more consistency. Emerson, what can he do on this side? Well, he can lose the ball, that's for certain. Nice play there in the end. Took three of them to get the ball back, but we got there. Cousins, Castro, Vieira, all just sort of bobbles away there. There it is, half time, really good half. And two thirds of the possession, seven shots of five being on target, absolutely dominant performance. Can we get three five million dollars in a row? I mean, ideally, I would like to get even more. I'm being greedy, I know, but. That's poor.
nice little header there. Now Kusons, he's been very good today. Back has been excellent down this uh, left-hand channel. Here's Arcas. Vieira. It's blocked, of course it is. Vieira again. Now Perez. Vieira. Oh, he's got a score there. Hit the target, but he just shot straight at the keeper. I'm not going to watch the replay. Come on, what a good corner here. And it is. Oh, and again, that's a terrible header. I do find the heading difficult, difficult in this game, and I don't know if it's me doing something wrong or if it's just the way the game is. I only tapped the power button, then it was way over. Back at offering support once again. Vieira. Castro. Oh, what a finish that was. He had his back to goal. Nice little ball into him, but... He had no right to score from there. And now Castro on a hat-trick as well. We will make some subs... Uh, Fairly soon. Well, when we get the chance. Should have probably done it after that goal. Clear it. Well, we got lucky there. We'll make some subs. Arcas will be a little bit disappointed. He's going off for Harrington. Give him a rest. Probably be man of the match today. Alex Mariba coming on for Fabio Vieira. And Carlos Perez going off for Bajet. And when I say Arcas probably man of the match, I don't mean I think he's put in the best performance, but he scored two goals. The likelihood is he could get man of the match just from the stats. Um, although the goals were just two tap-ins that anyone could have scored. That's just the way it is. I think Castro has been excellent. Back has been excellent. Um, Vieira has been good, but I wouldn't say man of the match. Now Bajer on the ball. And he loses it. Haven't really seen Herrera in this game much, I don't think. Of course, Cousins has been excellent as well. Nice play. Mariba. Ah, oh, deflected. That was a decent header that time, just couldn't get the power into it. Backer collects the ball. He's been on the ball a lot today. I know he won't get it, but I would even go as far to say he potentially could be man of the match for me, in my eyes. The work he's put down on that left-hand side, the support, then he gives the ball away. I shouldn't have said that, should I? I mean, it's one off getting tackled, but. Um, that was a little bit poor from Bajet. Check. Oh, nearly got the ball back there. That should be a corner, though. Just 
Chance for a counter. Boom Raji does well though. Croissants on the ball. Now Castro. Now Bajet. Should have got the ball through. Then Mariba. Nice play. Herrera. Oh, decent shot. Keeper didn't do too well there. He just about kept it out. Keep sitting that first man, even though I'm hitting it pretty hard. Here's Mariba. Cousins, now back at Harrington. Cousins again, trying to be patient. Mariba. And he gets blocked off there from the defender. That should have been a foul. Cousins. Mariba again. Nice play from him. Mariba. Oh, that would have been an absolute beauty for goal. Good save, though. Strong hands from the keeper. And I'm not sure why he fell over there. I'm really surprised they didn't get a free kick. Poor clearance. And nearly sives him down. Good block. Now it is full time. Only the four this week. Only the four. And again, over that 60% possession mark, 15 shots with 10 being on goal. They had a couple of chances. I think the keeper did our keeper make one save. Can't really remember, to be honest. And just what I said, Arcas gets man of the match. I don't agree with that at all. I know he got two goals, and then he did play decently besides that as well. For me, Ruben Castro, Cousins, Bakke, they were all at least just good, but probably better than Arcas. And that's not, again, to disparage Arcas. I think probably about a seven or seven and a half him is right, but I think the other players should have got higher. Subs, Bajer gave the ball away a few times, and Mariba seemed to play well. They're probably the wrong way around for me. But anyway, another three points. And if you look at the table on the right, Atletico Madrid must have won again because we're still the seven points ahead. So they're really keeping up the pace, as are Real Madrid. Really good win today. Very solid performance. Bit of a strange opening with August getting those two tap-ins. Join me next time for an away game at Levante. Then we've got one more match before the January transfer window opens. Think about subscribing to the channel to keep up to date. Hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. And drop a comment down below if you can. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.